What's worse, sugar or fructose? Well, if you're not new to the channel, you probably already know that it depends on the context and the dose. And as people say, if it rhymes, it must be true. <laughs> All right, so for the context, let's take the calorie abundance most of us has to deal with on a daily basis. And we'll talk a bit about why we get fat in the first place and how fat blockade can happen in your body and mess you up. In my childhood, you could not be poor and overweight at the same time. And as we go into the modern day, I have to fight my instincts, you know, to take <laughs> that full fridge as a freaking challenge and empty it in one sitting. <sighs> but the following helps me, uh, somewhat, to keep the ever-hungry monkey in check. So, for the dose, we are going to take uh, somewhat above normal, but by the end of this video, we'll also talk about how to measure your personal normal and how to stay within the limits and minimize the damage. But before that, it's important to understand a few fundamentals. Know thy enemy and know thyself. In 100 battles, you will never be defeated. That's what I want for you, understanding, because the ability to self-reflect is what being a smart monkey is all about. And with understanding, something else truly wonderful happens. Let's take a closer look at the fractals first. And it's actually an amazing story. We have quite a few health sources out there, but what I love and do is I pull the data from all of them and then filter through the common sense and review through the lens of evolution. And hmm, this is a perfect article and I'm mostly going to quote from it. So, 20 million years ago in early Mycent, as the climate was cooling, the ice caps grew and the land bridges were formed between Africa and Eurasia. And shortly after that, Europe got its first in history wave of big primate immigrants from Africa, looking for new and better pastures. And everything was cool and groovy for a millennia or two until it got, well, really cool. And you know, nothing else spells evolutionary pressure like two feet of snow in April. <laughs> so our settlers had to adapt in a way we are nowadays paying for in extra inches here and there. Just one gene. They had to turn off just one gene, which was responsible for producing uricase, an enzyme which removes the byproduct of fructose metabolism from the body, uric acid. And uric acid is known to create microinflammation in the body, which can create gout if taken to an extreme, and also known to amplify fructose signaling and induce insulin resistance. But the goal of this change was to drive up hunger and accumulate fat before the winter, because in the snow it's not the survival of the fittest, it's survival of the fattest. <laughs> And apparently it worked great, um, new upgraded apes survived and even used that extra fat to support the biggest fat organ and then in the first human-like act went back to Africa and eradicated the skinny apes and one thing after another passed this mutation to you and me. So what you need to know that this fattening effect is especially pronounced only at high concentration of fructose. So the good news is, when you eat fruits, it's mitigated by fiber and water, which slows down the absorption a bit and flushes the uric acid. So unless you eat a tree full of figs, life is good. But if you drink fruit juice or soft drinks, it can mimic the spike and flip that fat accumulation trigger. So the bottom line of the story is, eat your fruits in the natural form. But if you have other sugary treats in your life, and remember, table sugar is half fructose, Think about replacing them with zero sugar options and check your uric acid levels now and then when you see a doctor. Now, let's take a quick look at the sugar, how it ties up to insulin resistance, which is the root of almost every modern disease, and safe sugar dosing. The cells in your body are like hybrid cars, they can run on two types of fuel, fatty acids and glucose, or fat and sugar for the sake of simplicity. And your body can only take like a spoon of sugar before your blood turns into a syrup and starts to damage your organs. So when you have something carby, all cells try to sponge the sugar from the blood as soon as they can and utilize it. So if you have these high sugar levels often enough, your hybrid car starts to adapt, as the body does, and slowly turns into almost full electric. You know, you only have that much real estate. Fat burning goes down, sugar crunch goes up. The problem is, with the calorie surplus, all that fat is still there, so you keep pouring gasoline in your Tesla. 
<sighs> the Fed has nowhere to go and it starts to accumulate in all kinds of places. And what's highly ironic, almost how workers go on strike when treated badly, the fat starts to block sugar absorption by the cells. Look, if this is your cell, the pipe on top is what's called a transporter, a special entrance for sugar. And for a time it gets in just fine. But each time you ignore fat, it creates an ever-growing bubble. And, oop, sugar doesn't get in anymore. And you get a situation on your hands. Cells who are now hooked up to the sugar like heroin addicts cannot get it because fat is blocking the entrance. So they start to scream for more food and more insulin to deliver the goods. And everything spirals out of control into full-blown diabetes. Whew. So what do we do? Same as in fructose case, the speed of sugar delivery and disposal plays a crucial role and fiber and protein help to curb down the sugar levels to begin with. Exercise also helps with extra storage and it can bridge that fat blockade. And zone 2 exercise is particularly good for retraining the cells to burn the fat. But how do you actually know that you maintain the right balance and don't overwhelm your current sugar storage and burning capability? Well, that's what my continuous glucose monitor video is about. CGM is the tool for the job and that's why it's becoming more popular by the day. When you have that insight and the understanding, that's where the magic happens. Your body becomes your friend who helps you to survive and it's much easier to deal with a friend. So, Ready? if you want to see how it works, compare brands, prices and see how I apply it to myself, I'll see you there.